in a prison in South Korea, as a man yelled, all the inmates in the playground rushed towards the wall. The wall doesn't budge even when down scenes of people ram it. The guards don't understand what they're doing. In fact, they were breaking out of the prison. And the wall was really cracked. Don kept hitting the wall every day because his enemy was still enjoying himself outside the prison. Don was ordered by his mob boss to kill the leader of a rival gang. Although Don didn't kill him, he was sentenced to seven years in prison. On his first day in prison, he suddenly heard the familiar whistling sound from his childhood. Don frowned and turned to find the source of the sound. He defied the guards and went to the second floor, searching frantically. In one of the cells, he met his long-dead friend Soon. The three of them were friends and grew up playing in the mud together. Don is a black belt in Taekwondo. Soon is an expert fighter. Ju Jong has always followed them. The three of them joined Golden Gate, the biggest gang in the area. Soon was sentenced to death after being ordered to kill an important person. He was lucky to get a delayed execution in prison. After years in prison, Soon has become a big shot. He arranged for Don's cellmates to take care of him but forgot about Don's henchmen. The next day at dinner, Don learned that his crew was being bullied. So without saying a word, Don rushed over and kicked each of them to avenge his henchmen. Outside the prison, the Golden Gate boss visited his rival, who hadn't been killed. The boss wanted to cooperate with the other side, but the other side gave the condition that Don must die. The boss hesitated. After all, Don had served his gang for 10 years. Don didn't betray him even when he was in jail, but for the sake of the gang's development, the boss agreed. That night, Don's parents were hospitalized by a gang. The boss found Don's henchman and promised to let him out of jail if he killed Don. Don was so angry at the news of his parents' murder that he ran to the bathroom to calm himself down. But then his henchman stabbed him in the back. Don touched his hand and knew it was his henchman did it. He didn't turn around, but used his last strength to turn off the light. He didn't want to see his friend's betrayal. The next day, Soon vowed to find the murderer and cut him into pieces. Luckily, Don's life was saved in time. But his henchman hanged himself from a beam because of his conscience. When Ju Jun found out, he asked the boss why he did it, but the boss said you and I are ready to give up for the sake of the king. At the hospital, Ju Jun told Dong everything. Dong felt a sense of sadness. He asked Ju Jun to tell the boss that he's going out for revenge. Ju Jun is worried that Dong will be victimized again, so he calls the boss and tells him that Dong is in a vegetative state. The boss's rival is satisfied and agrees to cooperate. Soon after Dong recovered from his injuries, he returned to prison. He approached Soon to discuss a jailbreak, but the others have already started their escape plan. The man came to visit the prison with a map of the prison. Soon was printed on his shirt. The prisoner was a genius, too. He could memorize it after only one look. The next day, the men went to the restroom. When the guards left, they got into the ventilation ducts and climbed into the sewers and followed the map to escape. But suddenly it stopped, because on one side of this fork was an Air Force base and on the other an army base. They didn't dare break into either one, so they had to go back the way they came. The next day, an old man who had been sentenced to over 40 years in prison told them that the prison walls had been rebuilt years ago. The foundation was only dug to meters. The soil mix was even mixed with sea sand. If they could mobilize 50 people to push the wall, they could definitely bring it down. So they started gathering men in secret. That day, they finally gathered 50 men. With a roar from this man, the men rushed towards the wall in a frenzy. It was clear that their escape had failed. But when the old men left the wall, two cracks appeared on the wall. Since there's no shortcut to break out of prison, they used the most primitive method of digging. They took turns to dig holes every night. According to the map, they should be able to reach the wall into more days. But the next day, the warden announced that the old cell block would be repaired and the inmates would be moved to the second floor. Don couldn't believe that their efforts for half a month were in vain. Don was determined to make his escape, so every day, whenever he had time, he would bang on the wall, and he really made a crack on the outside of the wall. On this day, some gangsters were practicing shooting outside the prison. Coincidentally, a bullet hit a warplane. The warplane crashed just outside the wall. The guards were busy putting out the fire, but the old man felt a noise from the wall behind him. This time the prison walls have really fallen down. The passers-by, the guards, all the inmates freeze. Soon was the first to realize what was happening and ran for the wall in a rage. The inmates woke up and escaped in mass. The guards couldn't stop them. The police chased them for days, but about a hundred prisoners managed to escape. Don, Tun, and three others are roaming the streets at night. A police car suddenly appears. The five of them hid in a store on the side of the road. They tied up the owner and changed into civilian clothes. The next day, the five decided to help each other fulfill each other's wishes. The old man decided to visit his wife in a women's prison. It turns out he'd been trying to escape just to see his wife again. They were both sentenced to life imprisonment and were destined to die in prison. She whispered to her husband, Be careful and don't get caught again. 
She had no regrets that she'd be able to see her husband again. As the visiting hours ended, he turned around and lifted up his shirt to show his wife his back. She was surprised to see her favorite Sailor Moon tattooed on his back. He had asked his cellmate to tattoo it on his back when he was in prison. He did it just to let his wife see her favorite thing again. Now he's satisfied, the next step was to avenge Don's death. They went to the factory in Golden Gate, knocked everyone out and burned it down. At the red light, Don found the man who killed his parents. The murder of his parents was a moral sin. Don didn't hesitate to kill him. After that, he left his teammates behind and planned to take revenge on his own. He didn't want them to die with him, but Ju Jun stopped him. His former friends are now his rivals. Ju Jun doesn't want Don to go to the boss and get killed, but he's no match for Don. Then the butler came and told the men to kill Don. Don was chased by a group of gangsters and ran wildly, but he suddenly braked and ran back. To catch bandits, first catch the ringleader. He kicked the butler down, but to fist can't beat for hands. Then the familiar whistle sounded again. Soon came with three other men to help. All the gangsters were scared to hear Soon's name and backed away. Soon and Dong stood together again and fought side by side. But Ju Jun couldn't fight with them anymore. He turned around with his head down. Don suddenly realized that the boss was running away in his car. He chased after him, but Ju Jun stopped him. Once again, he stood at the crossroads of loyalty and righteousness. Ju Jun raised his gun at him. Dong started to run towards him. At that last moment, Ju Jun chose his friend. But Dong couldn't break in time and hit Ju Jun on the other side. Soon faced the gang's butler and stabbed him. The butler shot him at the same time. Both of them died together. Dong helped Ju Jun into the car and continued to chase the boss. Ju Jun regretted how much he missed the three friends who used to stick their necks out for each other. Soon the police came and stopped boss and Dong's car. When Dong saw the boss sitting in the opposite car and the police around him, he was ready to die with the boss. Suddenly, a gunshot rang out. It was Ju Jun who shot and killed the boss. This time, he gave up an unfaithful career and his life for his friends. The moment he fell, he was relieved. Don remembers when they were kids playing in the mud together. In those turbulent times, they roamed the streets in danger and terror. In the end, they proved with their lips how precious their friendship was. The movie is called Righteous Ties. In fact, they are all heroes of the ordinary people. The story in the movie is unrealistic but we can enjoy watching it. May excellent movies be watched by more people. You can subscribe to Chili Film and leave comments.